Hi everyone, it's me, Tiffany. I recently had a little bit of extra money come my way, which doesn't happen often, but I decided to do something I don't do, and that is to buy a box of these uh, Monster High Minis. There's about 72 in the collection, I believe, and there's 22 in the box. So I thought it would be fun to open the box with you guys and see what we get. I also have a few extra little, um, oops, there we go, a couple of little blind bags to open as well. So I thought I would bring you along for the ride. Okay, so to get us started, actually, I'm going to start with this. I'm really excited about this one. This is um, Soren from My Little Pony. And um, I already have whoop, <laughs> um, Big Mac and Pinkie Pie. Um, and I think DJ Pond 3, if I remember right. And I love these. On this one side, you have their cutie mark. But on the other side is this gorgeous painting um, of just like, this is him up in Cloudsdale. Um, so I'm super excited about this. He's amazing. The wings. Oh, the wings move. Look at that. So there's Soren and his little comb. Next, I have wine bags from My Little Pony the movie. Um, you do have to be careful with these because the inserts are paper, not plastic. So if you don't make sure it's all the way down in the bag, you will rip it when you open it. So these are the ponies you can get. And then on this side, it just has few other things you could get and this time I got Cherry Fizz and I love how they have different poses now. There's the cutie mark. Um, and it says Cherry Fizz he loves running with friends. So they're cute little sayings on them. Um, I do wish that they hadn't done the paper inserts but you know it is what it is. And next we have Lady Gavel. So she talks to friends often is what it says. Um, and she's got a little bun in her hair and on her mane. Looks like she's trying to use a walker. <laughs> so she'll stand up like that. So next I got um, Pint Size Heroes. Whoops, sister location. Um, I don't play the game, but I do watch um, a gamer online that plays them, and I really like this series. Um, I probably will play the game at some point, if I can handle the jump scares. <laughs> so it comes with your checklist, bigger. I'm really kind of hoping to get this one, or that one, I think. And then just a little kind of mini poster type thing, basically. So, whoop. Not who I was hoping for, but he's still cute. It's kind of a green, shiny color. Um, pearlescent, if you will. His body's on wrong <laughs> and it won't rotate. At least I'm sure his body's on wrong. Yeah, his body's, his arm's right there. So, I'm going to try messing with it later. There it goes. Kind of have to break it, more or less. There he is with his body on right. Okay, so now for the reason we are here today. I'm super excited about this. I know it's probably silly, but I've been slowly getting these, and um, I just haven't been able to for a while now. The table is moving on me. There we go. Um... So, yeah, let's get into it. All right. So, I do have some of these already. And this is from Series 1, it looks like. I really should have had a garbage can ready. Very tough plastic. 
Um, yeah, from series one, Let's see right there, and, um, Frankenstein is my favorite character, and I love these because you can stack them using this little coffin locker thing, and here's the whole list again, there's ten different collections in it, so, um, this one, oh, really strong plastic. Um, this is, I want to say, is it Laguna? This is from the Sleepover Ghoul collection, right there. Um, and the one thing I don't like about this series is they don't tell you their names. Um, so you just sort of have to figure it out on your own. I'm pretty sure that's Luna, though. Or not Luna. Um, oh no, I totally blanked her name. The fish girl. <laughs> Lagoon. Something Lagoon. Anyway, totally blanked her name. Sorry about that, guys. My dog is trying to figure out how to get up on the couch. And everything is on it right now so he's not giving up. Oh, pushing my arm isn't going to change anything, Bandit. Let's go later. Okay, so next, and I have no idea who this is. Oh, good grief. Okay. Next is this one, and her hair is kind of sparkly-ish. The material they or the paint they use. Um, this is I want to say probably the space, and I would be wrong. <laughs> um, oh come on now. Let's see here. No. I'm looking, guys. <laughs> um. You know, I can't find her. Oh, wait. Maybe that is her. It's purple. Yeah, it's the space one, but it doesn't look the same. So sometimes they're hard to find because it's supposed to be that one right there. Sometimes they're hard to find in here because they don't look the same um, as the picture. But I'm certain this is the space monsters. And the pink skull means that it's a fantastic find. And... Let me see. Who did we get the other time? That's another fantastic find is pink. I really should have gone through and opened these in advance. <laughs> but I didn't. So this video is probably going to be a little bit long since I'm opening so many. So, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy. Um... This looks like it's going to be Claudine. And there she is. That is some bright neon hair going on. Um, I'm trying to find her. Uh, looks like this is from the Beach Ghouls collection. And it's a yellow, so that means it's a frightfully uncommon. Getting quite the mess built up over here. That's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't know how people that do toy, toy channels do this all the time because this is difficult. To get everything out in a timely manner and <laughs> still make it look cool and remember to stay on frame <laughs> and fight the plastic oh my goodness there we go okay this is I'm gonna guess a space ghoul so where's the space ghouls oh excuse me space monster 
and it is this one here. Um, I want to say it's Abby, Abby Bombable or something like that. And hers is a blue school, which means she's common. Wow, I've only opened four. It feels <laughs> like I've opened a bunch more than that. These really do take time. Come on. And this is why I'm not a professional toy channel, because it takes me forever. <laughs> okay, so next. We have, oh, I bet this is one of the Getting Ghostlies, you know, and it's a pink, which is another one of the common. I like that. I like the, it's kind of almost a see-through-ish pink color. Um, not sure. Oh, this is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, Frankie and Rochelle Goyle are my favorites. And this is Rochelle. I really like her. So next. So I'm really happy to have that one. Um, so far, I have not gotten any that I already have. Because I, like I said, I do have some already. Hang on, guys. My dog wants up. Okay. Now that he's sorted and up, so he'll quit hitting my elbow to try and make me make room for him. He's very persistent when he wants to be. Okay, this is definitely a Draculara. Oh, and she's really cute. Look at that. She's really cute. And her bow. So this is from... The Circus Ghouls collection, um, and it's a common. So I actually have um, a few of the Circus or the Circus dolls. Um, I have four of them. I think there's a couple that I'll probably never be able to get because they're um, more specialized. Uh, and therefore more expensive. So who knows though, maybe someday I will get the last one or two left. So this is Venus Flytrap or Venus McFlytrap. Um, I want to say it's this one right here, um, but the shirt is the wrong color. So... Man, these are so hard to find. I want to say it's like a doll. So, looks like it. But it's not in the rag doll ghouls. Oh, there it is. She's the beach ghoul. And it's blue, so it's a common. Probably should have sat a different way to do this because I am actually putting weight on my left ankle, which normally wouldn't be a problem, except for that yesterday when I was heading out to the gym, I uh, was stepping down from the curb and my leg gave out like it does all the time, but it just caught me so off guard and... I didn't have anything to catch myself on and I went all the way down to the ground completely scraped up my knee this is cool this is uh oh no <laughs> forgot her name uh Cleo Denial and this is one of the pattern ghouls um and she's a common anyway so um I was or I, I scraped my right knee really bad. Um, but I also landed on my ankle and it rolled underneath me. 
so I didn't break anything. I didn't sprain anything, but the tendons are pretty angry. So it's a little bit swollen and I am, of course, sitting on it, <laughs> basically. So that's all right. I'm just going to move my ankle a little bit. Sorry about the movement of the tray. Okay. So we're getting down there. Um, almost done with the top layer. Oh, I like this one. Her hair is glittery. Oh. <laughs> oh, but the glitter does get places. Hang on, I gotta get that one. It flew away. Okay, there she is. I'm really torn. I really, really like this. It's really pretty. I love the colors. But I don't like glitter. It gets everywhere and it drives me crazy. So... I am torn because, like I said, I really do like her. She's really cute. Um, but, yeah, they're definitely glitter, and it's not all the way stuck down. Um, so this is one of the candy ghouls. I don't know if you can see, but I have a little bit of glitter on my hand. So, but it's really pretty, and I'm not going to be playing with it or handling it once I get it put up on my display shelf. So I will be okay with the fact that it's glittery. Okay. This is the last of the first row. So halfway done. This looks like it might be another Draculara. And I'm going to guess Beach Ghoul. So there she is, and she's got a different color bow. I love it. It's very pretty. Um, and yeah, she's a beach ghoul, and it's pink, which is the fantastic find. So, next. Ah, there we go. Haven't gotten any of the power ghouls, the rag doll ghouls. Um, can't, I'm not sure who else, and I haven't, there's one male character that they actually have in this, and I haven't gotten him yet either, which I thought was kind of weird that they tossed in one of the males, because they really probably could have done a couple of them, or just stuck with the females, um, so this is a space ghoul. She's got a little bit of, there we go, had a little bit of plastic that didn't quite come off. Definitely one of the space schools, and this is, um, oh, not Gulia, uh, Abby, Abby Abominable. Um, and she is, I'm going to say this one, and it's a blue, which was the common. Sorry for that interruption, guys. My alarm went off and it cut off the recording. Um, you didn't miss anything, though. Oh. I was really hoping to be able to get this all shot in one video, though. <laughs> so much for that. Um, now I'll have to figure out the whole splicing it together, um, which I have to do on my phone right now. Because I haven't yet found a um, program on the computer. Actually, I just got my computer, so, um, because my old one broke. Another glittery one, which means it's a candy ghoul, and I want to say it's Gina Fire uh, with the tail, but I could be wrong. Um, she is a pink. Yeah, she's a fantastic find. And here's just another quick show of what I mean by they're different. Like, her hair has black in it, but here it definitely doesn't. So sometimes, or that's part of what makes them more difficult to find on the list. Um, I will say this, though. I, I can't believe, I mean, these are all that we have left haven't gotten any duplicates, and I'm 99% sure 
I don't even have any of these in the few that I already have. And I, when I say few, I do, I have several. So I'm really happy that I spent this money and I'm not getting a ton of ones that I already have or a bunch of duplicates. Um, that really is awesome and it makes me feel even better about having spent the money on them. This is one of the power ghouls. Um, really not sure who it is. But it looks like... Kind of looks like her hair almost might glow in the dark. But I don't know. Maybe it's just iridescent. Um, let's see here. Power ghoul. Right there. And it's a common. Um, I'm not sure who that is. I might try and go online later and see if I can't figure out um, who's who. There's some of them I just you just can't tell by looking at them. This one might be an original. She's cute. I'm not sure who she is. Maybe not an original. Oh, no. It's a circus school, I think. Maybe. Uh, no, not a circus school. Um... Hmm. So thinking it's this one, but well, it might be. Yeah, it's got to be that one. It's got to be the circus school. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next. So I have to say, today's the eleventh of December. And Christmas is getting pretty close. But I just... I don't know. I, I really haven't felt the Christmas, if that makes sense. Um, I really love Christmas. And finding the perfect gift for the friends and family. And... Um, you know, sharing the holiday spirit with people. Oh, she's pretty. Um, Caddy Noir, I think, maybe? Caddy something? Mew something? <laughs> um, she is... I kind of want to say that one right there. The circus? Hmm. Here we go again. Oh, there she is. Uh, she's a sleepover girl. And it's a blue, which is common. Anyway. Um, it just doesn't feel like Christmas is right around the corner. You know, it's not necessarily that I'm not in the Christmas spirit. It just doesn't feel like it's Christmas. Um... Having just moved down into my apartment recently, um, and I still <laughs> still haven't finished unpacking everything, so I just didn't feel like decorating because that would require putting things away and in order to make room for the Christmas stuff. So, I don't know, it just doesn't really feel Christmas to me, and maybe it's because I haven't decorated this is one of the ragdoll ghouls. Finally, a ragdoll ghoul. I love the eyes. And then she's got a little patch on her dress. Whoops. There we go. Um, anyway, so what about you guys? Does it feel like Christmas? Um, did you decorate? Ow. I got stabbed by plastic. <laughs> did you decorate? Do you not celebrate? 
um, yeah, let me know. Um, as for like the, uh, traditions, do you have anything special that you do, um, with family, by yourself? One of the things I do that I absolutely love doing and I haven't done yet. Oh, she's cute. That's Frankie. That is definitely Frankie. And I want to say it's a sleepover, but it might be a pattern. Nope, not a pattern. Oops, wrong side. Sleepover. Yep, definitely a sleepover. Um, and it looks like a little bit of the black paint from the markings got on her foot. Um, but it's a common. Um, anyways, one of the things that I do every year is I go down to our local main downtown area, which is 3rd Street. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I just take a walk, take my time, I take my phone and take pictures of all the window decorations. Pretty much every store on 3rd has a different decoration every year. So I take a ton of pictures. Um, sometimes I go by myself and sometimes I take a friend. Um, it just depends on who's doing what, but it's something I do every year uh, and I love doing it and I need to do it this year. I haven't gone yet. Uh, this is the Pattern Ghoul. Um, I think Claudine and it is a common. Haven't gotten any special editions, and we only have two boxes left. So, we didn't get any of that one guy, and we didn't get any of the commons, or the, not commons, but, um, special edition. So, there's one, I think only two of the male character. Yeah, two. So, I don't think we're going to get him. But you never know. There's two more boxes. Anyway, uh, family. It kind of changes year to year. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. I spoke too soon. <gasps> Look. It's him. It's him. And he is from the Space Monsters collection. And he is a frightfully uncommon. And his name is Deuce. And he is uh, Medusa's son. There we go. Let me get him out of the tape. And his, he has to wear sunglasses because um, otherwise he turns people to stone. But it doesn't last because he only has half power. <laughs> um. He is cool. Uh, they show it on the picture. The sunglasses are down all the way, but they're kind of wanting to stay halfway, which is fine. Anyways, there he is. I can't believe I got him. That is so cool. Okay, moving on. Last one. Um, anyway, so yeah, basically the main real traditions for Christmas, the one things that we always do is we always have um, eggnog French toast Christmas morning for breakfast, obviously. Um, and Christmas Eve at my grandparents' house, we always have uh, oyster stew and clam chowder soup. Those are the two things that I can 100% guarantee, no matter what, will happen. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to open this one, guys, because we just got our very first duplicate, um, and it is this one. So, I'm going to leave this in the plastic and give it away to somebody or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to do this real quick. Hang on. Okay, so I took the camera off of my... Um, thing. <laughs> uh, just so I could give you the full picture. This is everything we got today. 
And I am really, really happy. Um, I can't believe we opened 22 boxes and only got one duplicate. And we got Deuce. I'm so excited about that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, there's the dog who just had to join me. Say hi, Bandit. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas and stay safe and please share your traditions. Tell me what you do um, if you're looking forward to Christmas. Um, if you like this video, please give me some thumbs up, subscribe, share, tell your friends about me. Um, I know I'm not the greatest <laughs> YouTuber, but hey, you know, we all start somewhere. Um, oh yeah, you can see my Mario stuff up there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Bye, have a good night.